Now then YouTube, it's me Ian Yotcha lad with another video and it's a it's a new one for this mm, coming month which is February. This will be dropping 1st of February and it's 29 days, 29 albums which is best albums in my opinion that's ever been released or certain bands that have released a standout album from a from a band. So say like they've released 30 albums, there might be one that stands out to me or whatever. So, hello to all new subscribers. You're stuck by is much appreciated. Click that notification bell, please, and click all. And it'll let you know when I'm uploading again. Like, please, comment, please, share, please, to X, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and all these other goodies. And subscribe, we like that. Because it don't cost the note. If you could get it to 10, 15, 20 likes, let me know. Please, and let me know what that thinks, and I'll carry on doing this. I might do another one further down the line, towards back end of the year or something. So, you might agree, you might disagree, you might never heard of some of these bands. You probably think, well, there's a better album out there, but leave a comment below, let me know. But I don't want a load of grief and hate and that and all this. So, without further ado, this is my first one. And it's a band called Trapeze which had Glenn Hughes, but he left in to join Deep Purple in 74. And there's Mal Galley, David Holland and Glenn Hughes, they were a trio, and this album's from 1972. And it's, we are the, mu we are the music, we're just the band. And there you go, that's front of it. And that's back of it. And that's Glenn Hughes who ended up joining Deep Purple. Now, <clears throat> for me, <clears throat> it's a good album. It's bef year before I was born, because I was born in 1973. But And there's some decent tracks on this. There's Keeping Time, which is track number one. There's Coast to Coast, Way Back to the Bone, Feeling So Much Better Now, Loser, and you are the music, we're just the band. Now, it's like a, a classic early 1970s rock, American rock album. And it is it is a good album. And it's, like I said, this said how it had a... Let's have a look. Let me take, let that. Let's have a look. Now, it shows you... Shows you Glenn Hughes there and uh, Dave Holland. And then it's got some info there, which is it's discog discography. And then it shows you Mal Galley on back. And then it shows you some uh, information on that. So, yeah. Now, for me, I know some people might never heard of this band, but it, it is a good album. I'd highly recommend picking it up. Um, like I say, it's a, it's a classic, like, early 1970s rock, rock album. So, and I think it's pretty hard to come across, is this. So it's a pretty rare album, but this is what released on Lemon Records, which is like a, a budget, like, release, or release certain albums. But yeah, um... I'm just trying to think now. Um, like I said, so yeah, 1972, year before I was born. Highly recommend. I mean, I've listened to some albums by Trapeze, but for me, this this is a brilliant album. This, and like I say, you can't beat it because these Glenn Hughes was a great vocalist or who was a great vocalist and he ended up joining Deep Purple so what more to say about that so leave a comment below let me know what you think if you could get us to 10 15 likes and if you like this series like I say I'm gonna do 29 albums in 29 days so see what you think and let me know right I'm gonna leave it there so until next time 
that knows what I'm going to say. Is I'm going to say it with you. So enjoy your music. And one, two, three, I'll say the E. Thank you very much. E.